Thank you, President Kelly. Good afternoon to all of you, especially to you graduates who are seeing your dreams come true. It is a great honor to be back at my alma mater through the magic of technology to deliver a message from literally out of this world, the International Space Station. It is a great honor and privilege to serve the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. Being an astronaut is a childhood dream come true for me, one that I nurtured at the University of North Dakota and continued after earning a Bachelor of Science degree in mechanical engineering in 1994. The mechanical engineering department, led by Dr. Don Naismith, was outstanding and prepared me very well. I would like to take this opportunity to also acknowledge Joyce Medallin, who with all of her heart directed the Society of Women Engineers at UND while I was there. Congratulations to those who are today graduating from UND's Space Studies program, which just celebrated its 25th year and which last week was awarded the Johnson Space Center Certificate of Appreciation. This program was in its infancy when I started at UND. I even enrolled in some of their initial classes. It has since grown to be a leader in interdisciplinary aerospace education and research. I'm proud of UND's many NASA connections, including a recent national collaboration that demonstrated unmanned aircraft systems that feature sense and avoid technologies, one of them developed by students and faculty in UND's College of Engineering and Mines, my alma mater college at UND. UND has long had an excellent reputation in many engineering fields, chemical, civil, electrical, geology and geological, and my own field of mechanical engineering. It has been exciting to watch a new discipline, petroleum engineering, burst from the ground like a North Dakota oil well. The program has seen amazing exponential growth from just four students in 2010 to some 140 students today. UND is represented by alumni around the world, with its presence expanded even to low Earth orbit on the International Space Station. President Kelly, I think the goals of the International Space Station are mirrored by those you've set for an exceptional UND. UND's encouragement of gathering and collaboration is also seen as a prime goal on Space Station. Space agencies from around the world have collaborated to build and run this magnificent scientific laboratory. At this very moment, astronaut and cosmonaut representatives from the United States, Italy, and Russia are living and working together here in space to further our understanding of Earth and its environment. Global understanding is key to the survival of our planet and to our development and progress as individuals. You are all lucky to be graduating from a university with such a strong international presence, with some 70 countries represented. Your experiences with individuals from other parts of the world and other cultures will certainly serve you well. An exceptional UND also strives to enrich the student learning experience that has certainly been accomplished in recent years as UND students and faculty have had a presence in space through Isaac, the International Space Station Agricultural Camera. Designed primarily by UND electrical and mechanical engineering students, Isaac helped NASA and the U.S. Geological Survey monitor impacts of changes caused by last year's Superstorm Sandy. Isaac was decommissioned just this year, but what a fantastic learning experience with real-world applications. Like me, the students who worked on Isaac received a great education at UND. I'm sure those of you graduating today feel the same way. You have worked hard to achieve your goals. I commend you and wish you the best. I am extremely proud to be a graduate of UND. My time there provided a great foundation for me, not only as an engineer, but also as a person. Be proud of yourselves and your school. Keep dreaming and keep reaching for your stars. You've already proven you can do it. With continued hard work, lifelong learning and dedication, the future, the world, and beyond are yours.